International League Soccer was developed by Taito and released for the PlayStation 2 in 2001. And the game is also known as Soccer America International Cup in the US and Greatest Striker in the Japan region. And this game is more of an arcade focused soccer game. It would have actually been popularised in the Japanese region. You would have been able to play the game in the arcades itself. So this game at the time would have also been somewhat of a competitor to the likes of the more mainstream Pro Evolution and FIFA soccer series that was also on the PlayStation. And the game consists of a number of different teams with a range of international squads that you can choose from and has access to a lot of different features even with players and different attributes that were popular and that were reflective of its time. Plus you could also use the PlayStation 2 multi-tap if you had access to one to play the game with up to four players as essentially this game is more or less a rebranding of games that were seen in other regions what does it play like compared to its other counterparts well in most cases it's pretty much identical for the most part a lot of features that were in the other games were pretty much added into this one as well one of the main features with the greatest striker entry was the fact is that back in the day they had tried to use voice recognition technology to be able to allow you to play the game using voiceovers so that you could tell players or even the goalkeeper what to do at different points so it was a unique feature that again was still relatively new for its time but it was interesting to see how games would incorporate them into their play styles now with this game when you compare it to the likes of the FIFA series or even the Pro Evolution soccer series of the time it is a good football game in its own right and even though it's more arcade focused it definitely feels and plays more like like the International Superstar Soccer series or International Superstar Soccer 64 if you've played it on the N64 because that's more of an arcade focused soccer game and it plays and feels very much even similar to that as it has the typical style of arcade graphics and visuals mind you for an arcade style game they are very good but with the general gameplay overall while it does play quite well and does have some nice features and it is easy to pick up and play and it's more accessible compared to other types types of soccer games that weren't FIFA or Pro Evo at the time you will definitely get more of a feel and be able to get used to this a lot faster but it still wasn't as fleshed out or as well refined as the more mainstream entries in the soccer genre but it's still a good title overall it has enough attributes to keep you playing for a while with plenty of teams to gain access to and it is a good fun multiplayer game to play with your mates it just has a very different take on the soccer style as it's more arcade focused so it wouldn't be as competitive in style or the way that it plays compared to more mainstream games but it's still generally a lot of fun to get used to but it isn't without its flaws as with a lot of these games because the majority of these type of titles and entries were created mainly by developers that didn't really focus on soccer games as such they would have had to focus on different types of arcade titles so it was interesting to see them try their hand at something new to try and find a place in somewhat of a competitive niche as they will but it still does a good job for what it actually does it's still a fun game to play and i would love to know your thoughts of international league soccer for the playstation 2 if you have played it yourself and if so what do you think of it do you enjoy these type of soccer games or even more to the point do you enjoy these arcade style of soccer games and if so what do you think of them overall be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be updated on future videos and in the meantime if you want to see more content around similar types of soccer games also seen on the ps2 you can check out the playlist here on the screen to see more of those games in action and i will see you all in the next one i hope you all enjoyed it as